Hello everyone, and today our webinar will be about public transit apps and sites. So just a quick layover about how the presentation is going to go today. First, we'll go over what are public transit apps and sites, and then we'll talk about a specific app called the Transit app, and then we'll do a little bit about Google Maps, and then we'll talk about some of the alternatives to the Transit app or Google Maps. So what are transit, uh, public transit app, apps and sites? So these are applications and site web and websites that can help you navigate uh, public transportation more easily with its features. So some of the features that are included are an estimated bus and train arrival times, which also help you to get faster routes to your destination. Some of the benefits of using public transit apps and sites are that they can help locals commute faster and they can also help travelers navigate the new city. So it, these apps will provide you with faster routes to your destination. And they will notify you if there are any service disruptions on your commute. They will also give you the expected bus and train arrival times, as well as step-by-step -step directions on how to get there. So now we'll talk a little bit about an app called Transit. So what is it? This is a mobile app that provides everyone with live public transit data. So like stated earlier, this specific app will actually give you the estimated arrival times of buses and trains. It lets you plan trips and uh, it'll show you the faster routes. And you can also receive departure alarms and stop notifications, as well as prompts on the app to pick up your pace in the mode that's called Go, which we'll look at a little bit later. And it'll also notify you when there are any service disruptions on your commute. So the Transit app is a completely free service. You can download it on iPhones and Android devices. And it is available in 11 countries, including Canada, the United States, and the UK. So to download and use this app, so how do you download this app? So first, you need to go onto the App Store if you have an iPhone or an Apple device, or if you have an Android device, you can find this on the Google Play Store. So from there, you can type in transit into the search bar and click on the one that says transit, bus, and train times, and click on get or install and wait for the app to download. So once your app is downloaded, you can plan a trip by first opening this app and then typing into the green box that says where to. In there, you can type in the address, the location, or the name of the place you want to go to. And then you can select which route you want to take. So to get to your uh, destination, they have a go mode, which you can tap, you can enter by tapping go, uh, the go button on the screen. And this will allow you to receive audio and or visual directions. So this will help to notify you when there are any disruptions in the service, the estimated bus and train arrival times, and it also will remind you what stop to get off at. So how do you check the expected arrival times of buses or trains? So you can swipe left or right on the bus or train that you want to check the expected arrival time on. And if you want to look at buses or trains in different areas, you can swipe across the map to find them. But next, we'll talk a little bit about Google Maps. So what is Google Maps? 
Google Maps is both a website and an application that provides live public transit data. So this also allows you to plan your trips and take the faster routes. It has GPS navigation. You can print off directions. You can use it offline and it is also completely free. So some of the benefits of Google Maps include allowing you to view or use multiple transportation modes, such as the car, uh, biking, walking, or public transportation. It's also reliable and efficient. And you can also save your work and home addresses for more efficiency, really. There's also a street view option, and you can also quickly zoom in and out of the map. Google Maps will also provide you with business information, like pictures of the business, hours they're open, and ratings from other users. So how do you plan a public transit map on Google Maps? So if you're on a computer, you can search Google Maps on your internet browser. And if you're on a phone or tablet, you can download Google Maps, the app, for free. If you have an Android, it will already be pre-installed, but if you have an Apple device, you will have to go into the App Store to find it and download it. Once you open the app or the website, you can click on the search bar and type in the name or address of your destination and then click search. For public transportation, you'll have to click on the little bus public transit icon. And then you can type in your starting point. And then below that, different possible routes with directions will then show up, which you can select from. So once you have selected a route, you can either follow the directions directly from your phone, or you can print them out. So to send directions to your phone, if you're using a computer, you can press the little phone icon. And if you want to share the directions with someone else, you can press the share icon. And if you want to print the directions from the website, you can click on the printer icon. So what are some alternatives of Google Maps and transit? So there are a few others that are quite similar to the ones that we talked about. These include Rocket Man Bus and Train Times, which is available in Canada, the TTC Watch for Toronto, which is specific to Toronto, Canada, Wiz Bus and Train Times, which is available in most of North America, UK, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. City Mapper, which is in North America and Europe. Move It, which is available in 105 countries, including Canada and the States. And ETA, which is only available to the US and select cities in the US. So now we will get to the live demo. So here, we can see the transit app icon, which I will tap into. And once it opens, this is the same screen that we saw earlier on the slide. To select a location that I would like to travel to, I can click the where to button and type in a, a location. So for example, I will just set city hall to use as an example. So once you type it in, it'll have the uh, location and then you can select that. If you want to change the location you're starting at, you can press current location and type in a different one. For this example, I'll just keep it as current location. So now you'll have different uh, options here that'll show you maybe the quickest route or when each one departs. So once you can uh, slide to see when they depart, and then you can select one. I'll select the first one here. So here it'll show you the route it'll take to get to your destination. And if you scroll down, it'll show you all of the steps. If there are any service advisories, um, you'll see a gray arrow sign like this, which is a service advisory that we have. And once you're satisfied with this, you can press go. 
and this will start your uh, start your navigation. So here it'll tell you all the different steps and when each uh, like when to move to each step. So once you're done with the navigation, or if you want to close it, you can close it with the little X. This will also bring you back to this menu in case you want to uh, select a different one. On an iPhone, there'll be a little red X in the corner to exit the screen, but since I'm on an Android, our phones naturally have a back button on them. And so uh, the next thing we can take a look at is looking at the departure times and arrival times on different routes. So I'll just take the first one as an example, the one that says 40 Saint Laurent. So if I click into it, it'll tell, it'll show me the route it takes. It'll show me the next departure times. And then it'll show me when it gets to each following stop next. Here, you can also click the little star to favorite this um, for easier viewing later or you can press go, which initiates the route. Um, some other features in this app include, if you press the settings button here, um, this one is like a review uh, service that you can help to review other uh, routes for other people. And as we saw earlier, the little star button, which will uh, show you all of your favorited lines. If you press at the top, the next one, um, here you can save locations like a home address or a work address or a different location. It'll show you the different modes of transportation if there are more than one in your city. It can show you your different transit options, like if you want to minimize walking, show your accessibility information, all of those. And you can also include other modes of transportation, like taking an Uber, biking, um, other, which includes COVID-19 vaccination sites, and walking. And it also has preferences as for the metric system or the imperial system. Um, the theme, if you want to change it from the green color and special announcements from the area. Here, it'll give you some information about the company itself. And once you want to go back, there should be a little X on an Apple device or on Android, we just press the back button. So next, we can take a quick look at uh, Google Maps. Back here, we have the Google Maps app. So I can click into that and it gives me a similar layout. So I'll take City Hall again as an example. So I click into the search bar at the top and I can type in City Hall. And then once I found the one I want, I'll just select that. And down at the bottom, there are the directions. If you wanna directly start navigation, um, you can call the business uh, or here that you can also view the reviews. If you slide up, you can see any pictures. There are. So if we just press directions, it'll start the navigation for us. So here, right now, the first one is on cars. So if we want to look at public transit, we can just click the next one over. And then it'll show you the recommended route and various other routes that are possible. On Google Maps, you can also change your departure time. So here, if you want to say depart at five, you can set that or you can change the arrival time. And that can also show you the last available public transportation if applicable. Um, similar to transit, once you click into a route, it will show you the 
uh, the whole navigation and it will show you all of the steps. And then you can press start to start the navigation. Uh, if you want an audio uh, notification, there's also this button down here with the little person, um, which you can press. And then to exit the navigation, you can press the X and that will exit you out of the navigation. Okay, so that is all for the live demo.